The official pip watch is on. Two out of three eggs by our beloved Big Bear Eagles, Jackie and Shadow. They appear to be hatching. Just about 45 minutes ago, we saw the newest crack. Now the first crack was spotted at 3.09 yesterday afternoon, and the egg sighting news was announced by the nonprofit <laughs> Friends of the Big Bear Valley, which monitors those eagles. We want to bring in Sandy Steers, the executive director and biologist. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us. And Sandy, for those who don't regularly follow the Big Bear Eagles, tell us what pipping is, uh -huh. how long it takes for these eggs to fully hatch once the pipping begins. Uh, pipping is when the first crack is seen in the egg from the inside. The, the little chick has an egg tooth on the top of its beak, and it pushes, has to push hard against that shell to make a crack in it. And then it has to work to expand that crack around the shell enough that it can get out. It can take uh, from a day up to three days sometimes for it to get completely out of the shell once it starts hatching. I didn't realize it's such a process. Yeah, it's, it's hard work. It's so cool. So it, can, you, it is. can you put us through some of the key stages of hatching, some of the signs of a healthy pit versus maybe a potential problem? I mean, one to three days, that, it's doing a lot of work. It is doing a lot of work, and sometimes it has to rest for, you know, 12 hours or more just to basically recover from pushing its, the hole in the next section of the shell. Uh, the first thing it did was to, before it could even open the shell, was to break the inner lining, the membrane. And, and so it did that before we saw any holes in the shell. And then it breaks the shell on the outside and then has to keep pushing its feet against the back of the shell and kind of working its way around with that egg tooth to break enough of the shell off that it can crack it open and push its way out. So Jackie and Shadow can't do it for them, right? The, the, the baby has to wondering. do it? The, well, it's known that eagles will not help. They, they want the, the chick to be um, strong itself to be able to survive. But uh, at the same time, I've seen Shadow break off a piece of the shell before. Oh, you have? <laughs> oh, he's a sneaky, sneaky one. Um, you know, we've been looking at these pictures all morning where it does look like it could be a little cold out there. Does wind or any of these weather conditions play a role into how this will go down? No, they will, they will keep the eggs fully warm and covered and, as you see them doing. And it, so that is not a problem. It's actually warmer than a lot of times when the, the eggs have hatched, so that should be fine. And I have one more question for yeah. you. So if we have successful uh, hatching here and we have these baby eagles, how long do they stay with their mom and dad? It, from 10 to 14 weeks, oh. they stay in the nest and they get fed and everything, but they grow from a few inches up to over three feet tall wow. in that short amount of time. And uh, so the, the, you'll see lots of feeding and things like that from Jackie and Shadow, but in, they have to be fully grown physically before they can fly. So that's 10 to 14 weeks before they can leave the nest. And then do they all stick together for a period of time or do, do the babies the, go off? The chicks probably won't. They'll go different directions, but Jackie and Shadow will keep track of, of all of them and make sure they're getting food and teach them how to catch their own food and things like that. So it's an education process for a couple of months. Wow. It feels like teenagers. Like they leave the nest, but we still follow <laughs> yeah. them around to make sure exactly. they're okay. Yes. <laughs> Sandy Sears, thank you so much for coming on this morning. Thank you.